Hi there, and good morning, afternoon, evening. I have some bonus material to share with you this week. A few um, tarantulas uh, slings that uh, I rehoused and some that I have not shared with you that I received from Fear Not. So I'm gonna go ahead and share those with you. I want to give a shout out to Brittany's Arachnids. If you haven't checked out her channel, please go and have a look. I promise you won't be disappointed. She goes out in the field and looks for scorpions and has giveaways and she just comes up with some really neat stuff. I really enjoy her channel and I think that you will too. Spooder angry. Spooter angry. Very angry, no reason, Spooter. Angry, no reason, Spooter. I not even touch you, Spooter. Well, I hear some stridulating. What a cute little thing. Don't you think? So cute. Apparently, I need more coffee before I embark on this thrilling adventure. Mmm. Good stuff. Cereal Pagopus species. Back ma. There's a, a hide in there. Let's see, there's a little one in there. Are we gonna be pissed off or are we gonna be shy? What a pretty tarantula. Apolopelma, species Bachma. Come on, little guy. Hey, look, you oh look, you got a beautiful little home. What a cute little tarantula. Wow. Amazing. This is from the Bac Ma National Park in Vietnam. You gonna go into your hide? You got a really nice place to hide there. It's all made up for you. It's even hidden from the birds. That was a success. So here we have another lovely little enclosure for my Ornithoctonus areotibialis. Here's the hide. And this one's about an inch and a half. Alright, here we have our vial. I'm going to open it this way. Same thing as the Haplopelma species Bachma. Just kind of fold it up in there. Can never pr predict what the behavior is going to be, but so far these guys seem like they're shy. Maybe they're Maybe the temperature was a little low for them. 
it's the beginning of fall here. I traveled overnight. Oh, what a beautiful. I think this one's also known as the Thai Gold Fringe. Very shy. Look at those cute little feet. A little more attitude than your friend, I can see. You got your home here. Go on. There you go. Okay, you're gonna give me a new one. <laughs> Ornithoctonus areotibialis um, to back up into its burrow just by blowing on it lightly three times and it backed right up and went into its burrow. You can see a foot there. So that was the easy way to handle that without a hitch. Welcome to your new home. It's going to be fun rehousing these guys in a few months, isn't it? This one's supposed to be kind of a slow grower, so it might be a little while. Here I have an enclosure for my Hypatera Caffreriana. And this is a baboon species. This one should be about um, two inches. This is dry moss. Got a hide. It's under some cork bark started out down there so little one can feel safe okay i see some feet facing out someone took a poop so rude pooping on the plane Some of the baboons that I've, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see, they say the Asian species will, gi will uh, give you some fun, but. <laughs> oh, this one's already working its fangs at me. Oh, yeah. We're having fun. We are not even out of the box. Telling me off. Cute but pissed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, we backed out. We backed out. All right, you're working your chelicerae at me. I see ya. Let go. Let go, and you can go in your burrow. You'll be fine. <laughs> There, thank you. What a pretty little, little one. Feisty. Mandu, try puppy. Brazilian giant blonde. One and a quarter to one and a half inches some reason I was thinking it was bigger so I made this big enclosure so I don't know why I was thinking that sorry you're gonna be seasick all right I know what I'll do I will put the tripeppy in here. And then we'll move my Acanthoscuria in there. And I think I probably have someone bigger to go in the Acanthoscuria enclosure. 
So there's a little Nandu tri puppy. Got a little bit of spray in the corner. I'll get this one a water dish. And I'm going to put my age maculata into this enclosure because I have it in something that's a little big. Come out, stinker. Come on. Nope. Well, aren't you special? <laughs> there we go. Into a new spot. Lizzie has pie. Don't start kicking at me. It's a cute little place for you. It's a better size. Then we can put somebody else in here. I'm gonna move my kicky be classy over into this bigger container because it's really cramped over in this other one. It's already gone up inside the catch cup, so there it is. That was very easy. It's a little bit kicky, so. You got a bit, you got a bottom there. Go ahead. You got a bottom. You got it. There. You're out. I decided for the old uh, Be Classy enclosure, I've changed out the um, substrate and everything. I am going to put my E. Campostratus in here. Gonna give it some of its old webbing. It's been growing quite a bit. I mean, it's, I would say that it's a medium. It has medium growth. Um, maybe not quite as slow as, as I've heard. I mean, it's not what I expected. It's not as slow as I expected. Come on. Got your new place. There you go. Come on, there you go. You'll be fine. Ah. I have a really tiny Onacoma Moderatum. And I'm just going to put it in one of these vials that used to house a sling during transport. Um, this one is only about a quarter inch. For those who are not familiar, this is the um, <clears throat> Rio Grande Gold. Yeah, it's little, little, very, very little. A little bit spunky. Now facing this way. Already a beautiful sling. There you go.
down into its new home. It has water drops on this little bit of moss in there. I'm sure it'll it'll burrow because these are Fauna Palma species. They so far all of mine love to burrow. There's this little bum bum. You can see how small it is. Tiny. We have lots to feed it. We have everything here from little tiny tiny little crickets to little red runners so we're gonna be fine i'm gonna make a label for this one get it over on the shelf and that's our rehousings for today my little age aniculata checking out its new home